An upcoming Madison Taco Festival being held at Bree Stevens Field has taken a turn for the dramatic after concerns about the group throwing the party have surfaced in a number of states. Adam Dexter joins us live with a scoop on what's going wrong and why the venue itself says it's trying to figure out if the event will happen at all. Adam? Well, Buffalo, Pittsburgh, Des Moines, even Fargo, North Dakota have all been stops on this nationwide tour, but instead of good fun and good times, the event itself has left many in attendance with a bitter taste in their mouth. For event organizers like Connor Kaloya, planning parties, games, and other events at Breeze Stevens is usually, well, a breeze, but not this time around. We've probably booked 500 events. I don't think we've ever had an event in our uh, six years now of running this facility uh, where it's reached this level of concern. The Madison Taco Festival advertised online in just 10 days out with already more than 1,000 people RSVP'd is drawing criticism in other cities for what some say was false advertising. We are at some taco fest at Riverworks, Buffalo, New York. And promises of good food and good fun left unfulfilled. These are the tacos. No toppings, no sour cream, no lettuce, tomato, no nothing. The event's organizers, AZ Food Festivals, didn't respond to our emails today. Kaloya says in situations like this, event planners typically visit months ahead of time and pay for the space, while the team at Big Top works to serve drinks and handle tickets. They came here, they did a site visit, we met them in person, uh, and we, we, we were skeptical at the beginning, and we tried to uh, do some due diligence. But, um, you know, obviously here we are in a situation 10 days out, and we have to act accordingly to make sure that it's not a bad experience. So as for what's going to happen? It's really a legal matter at this point. And so we're, we're, we're exploring every option we can, uh, you know, uh, to make sure that we prevent uh, have happening what, what ha what's happened in other places. They don't even have napkins with the food. Cloya says while the legal ramifications are still unknown, the last thing he and other event planners want to do is play host to a company holding a subpar event. It's our venue uh, and we need to make sure um, we, we need to be ensured that it's a good event uh, if it is to go on. With the event so close to happening now just 10 days away, Kaloya says he hopes that they'll have an answer as to the next steps soon. He says in the meantime, if you're not comfortable with coming, you can always request a refund.